right, so we got a uh, interesting diagnostic here. Um, this is a 06 Mustang with a Pro Charger. It's making noise, so we're actually going to turn it on and I'm gonna listen to it. I don't know how good you guys are gonna hear it. Um, but we're suspecting one of the pulleys, hopefully not the Pro Charger itself, but one of the pulleys has an, a, a, a bearing going bad or something like that. And then while I was looking at it too, I need to figure out how this tensioner is supposed to go because this is a weird old school tensioner. I guess they have updated ones. Um, but I found this just hanging out. So I'm not, and this just kind of wiggles about too. I'm not sure where it's supposed to be there, but we gotta figure that out. And then I know it needs a belt and I gotta look into a little bit more, but the crank pulley adapter for this kit is either slightly bent or loose or something, or the actual crank pulley of the engine is having problems. So we're gonna see what we can figure out. is just the supercharger, it makes that all the time. Um, yeah. It actually sounds like it's behind the Pro Charger bracket. Um, where's my flashlight? Well, I can definitely tell the belt is loose. It's sitting here flapping away. So okay. essentially, I'm just gonna take this belt off, which it's definitely loose. I heard something creak under there, which I'm not happy with, but the belt being loose isn't helping, but essentially I'm gonna take the belt off, turn it back on, and see if we still hear the same noise, because I think it's actually a pulley behind all of this. All right. So that's loose. Take this belt off. And then we'll see if we still have that noise. Needs a new belt anyway, so. Nope, it sounds pretty quiet to me. So it definitely is pro charger noise. All right. I'm sure tension will probably make it better or will, it might actually make that worse, but um, I'm gonna take this off. And then we'll also take off the lower one and I just wanna see how they feel in my hand. Because the only problem is I don't know actually how your uh, the pro charger is supposed to feel when you spin it, because it's got you know whatever gears and stuff in there that spin everything, so it's not going to feel like a proper pulley to me. I mean, that sounds pretty smooth. Okay, I can kind of feel the bearing in this one. Yeah. So essentially with bearings, you're just looking for a creak or any of that stuff. You're supposed to, like, if you have your finger in there like I have it, 
and I'm kind of putting pressure one way because of course the belt's going to put pressure one way. And then as you spin it, you can feel like a notch. It, you know, it'd be like, you know, feels like sand is in there or something. Um, and yeah, this one's not feeling good at all. I'm gonna take that one off and just make sure that that one also feels good. We'll have to see if that's either play with whatever's inside of it or if it's play with the pulley. Cause it does look like the bolt moves with the pulley for that little knock. So it might just be the gear driven thing that's going on inside that. So taking this one off too, I can feel something in there. It didn't sound like it on there, but I'm not putting any pressure on it when I spin it. So that's why you want to take it off. And yeah, I can feel the notchiness on this one. So we're going to need both pulleys. And then where is, I want to take this thing out. I'm going to go get my snap ring pliers, take that out. But I'm pretty sure that nothing is actually broken on that other than maybe this snap ring isn't uh, as strong as it should be. Come out, there you go. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Should just clip on that and then that's your adjuster. So I don't know what, yeah, cause it's, I'm just gonna try to put it together right now and then we don't need any extra parts. And for whatever reason, they were just sitting on the car for how many ever thousands of miles. I don't you just love when you find everything you need to make something work? Only thing I gotta make sure is that the uh, threads on this are okay because they're they've been stuck in one spot for a long time. But at least that's figured out. Let me. So now I'm gonna go get the parts for this. We're gonna get the belt and um, see where they are and what I gotta do for getting that. So, anyways, other than doing all the fluids and stuff on this thing, I have to install a, a, a drain line for the Procharger oil because there isn't one and it just dumps over everything there. So um, yeah, let me figure out where these parts are. I'm gonna get them ordered. Hopefully they're actually close. Um, it is a Thursday, so we'll see what happens. And at least with this, we have a belt number and I should be able to just order this belt. The pulleys are on order. Um, it's actually Pro Charger themselves. They, they, I couldn't find these pulleys anywhere else and they have no part numbers on them. So I ordered them from Pro Charger. Uh, the belt we have coming from Phoenix, it should be here tomorrow or maybe by the end of the day, depending on when I ordered it. The pulleys will be here next week. That's, yeah, whatever, can't really win that. Um, but the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take off this pipe, one, to get the belt out and two, um, mostly I'm taking it out because I want to get in there and try to make sure that the bolts for that pulley are tight. Because as long as those bolts for that pulley are tight, the wobble that's there, it's an extension off of an OE part. The OE uh, crank pulley looks perfect. It spins, there's no wobble, nothing. Um, so only thing I can chalk up is it's aftermarket. It's not 100% perfect. They did a good job. It's not going to come off. That's really the big thing that I'm looking at for if those pulleys are tight. And then once I figure out those are tight, then I'm going to clean up because we just got to wait for those start those parts to show up. Once they show up, we'll put it together and make sure no noises. So I got the belt out because this, this line is in the way. Um, it's like really close to the pulley. Um, but I should be able to get the socket in there. And then I had to undo this so I could pull this out from up top. So I checked the crank pulley and scariest thing, one bolt is loose. So um, essentially I got the torque wrench. I went in there. It torques to, um, what was it? Like 65 plus 40 degrees loose in and then 35 degrees plus 90 or 35 foot pounds plus 90 degrees is a torque to yield bolt. And so I went down there and I was just like, well, I'll just try 120 foot pounds because it should be more than that. It was just turning. And I was like, all right, hold the fuck up. I put 50 foot pounds on the torque wrench 
turned it, it clicked, but that was after I turned it like three times. Not all the way around, but like I beep, beep. So that's loose. Shouldn't be anywhere near that. Uh, essentially 35 foot pounds plus 90 degrees on that big of a bolt is stupid tight. I don't know what it is, but it's stupid tight. So um, I torqued it a couple times. I went uh, little tiers. I went up to 140 foot pounds. Um, I'm gonna do 180 foot pounds, which should be more than fine for it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wait until his next oil change. And then we're going to check the torque on it then. And if we have a problem then, we're gonna take it out we're going to get a new bolt, I'm going to torque it properly, and we're going to put Loctite on it. Uh, because somehow it decided to work its way loose. Only guess is most likely whoever put the Procharger kit on um, before he even owned the car didn't torque it properly. So torque specs are the most important thing on your car. Uh, done it sounds good um, it ha only has the little bit of noise that the pro charger itself actually makes but the uh, the bearings sound great we did all the fluids that he wanted which was pretty much every fluid that this thing has um, yeah I think we're gonna have one happy customer even though pro charger is very proud of their parts I'm not complaining but they're expensive <laughs>